but with your high perception, you glance up and see in the the ceiling portion of this chamber, where there are a number of these kind of small caverns that are pressed into the side, you see out of the top just the slight peaking of Raishan's face, kind of looking down into the chamber oh. above you. Oh. And you watch as the teeth, there's something muttering in the mouth and the teeth grin as the ceiling of the room, you watch distortion in the air above you. And almost like these small portals kind of oh, no. open and come flying out of them. You see four large flaming rocks. Thordax. Rocks. Rocks. These are rocks massive, rocks? fiery, meteorite-like boulders that come firing out of the ceiling of the room. Rocks. <laughs> slamming into the ground around you, exploding in a massive explosions, rocking you. All you see is white and ringing in your ears as your bodies are thrown from explosion to explosion. I need the three of you Evasion. to make dexterity saving throws. Well, here, let's do, let's do the first part. So, oh boy. there's the fire damage. Okay. Which is 20 d6. What did we have to beat? 20 d6? 20. 20 d6. <laughs> what did we have to beat? Uh, you had to beat 22. Okay. Zero. Right, so you take okay. zero damage from us. Um, both of you take 63 points of fire damage. Halved. Halved to 31. Okay. And then you each take 70 points of bludgeoning damage. Oh! oh! 70! That's 130 and something total points. Oh! As these flaming arcane meteors That's 101 crash damage. into the ground, detonating and destroying a portion of the cavern floor, Lava spatters everywhere, and you watch as you duck out of the way as, Keyleth, what are your hit points at? Uh, I'm actually still up at, what's 101 minus 119? 18. 18. 18 points. 18 points, 18 hit points to that. Uh, you watch as your sister is thrown, her body unconscious, flung in the air like a rag doll as it scatters to one end of the cavern. Uh, you can see the volcanic activity kind of billowing up from the recent shaking of the room uh, as bits of the molten rock are being flung across as the uh, green dragon face kind of withdraws within the cave. And I think that's where we're going to pick up next. Oh no! my God. It's 11.22, guys. Next we got to get a little As the dust settles and you all take stock of what had just transpired, uh, you see the snout of the green dragon pull up into what appears to be a series of dark uh, volcanic exhaust tunnels that seem to be like a hive network of, of honeycomb type tunnels that just spiral off all through the ceiling. And that's where we left off from the last sequence here. Jeez Louise. Um, which previously behind, if I'm, if I'm correct, and I believe I am, and if not, internet, it's fine, we'll, we'll do the narrative. Um, we have the three of you in the room. We have Percy, Scanlan, Pike, and Gilmore rushing up behind as fast as they can. Grog and Kima had stayed behind to finish up one of the more recent battles, and Jared and uh, Jared is just not going in. He is yeah. not in a place to follow suit. <laughs> it's like, it's fine. It's, you got this. Fine. You got this. Oh, Don't worry. It's okay. So, much pain. so at the top of this combat round, technically, Percy, you have the initiative on this. You are continuing to push through this this hallway. You haven't quite even at, at a double dash. You can hear the explosions in the distance, and you guys watch as suddenly smoke, silt, and ash come flying through the tunnel from within, uh, immediately followed by the sound of these large, heavy, uh, banging explosions. Uh, some sort of heavy impact and series of impacts seem to have detonated deep within the tunnel and immediately set everyone in the vicinity on edge, knowing that something is still transpiring in a very dangerous way deeper within this tunnel. What? Yeah. It's also, are there five? There are five eggs. Yeah. Or he was making there a basketball team. There are five eggs that you can see throughout there. <laughs> and they're all seven, red. Four. They're all red. They're all red. Yes. Okay. Well, they're all red. Maybe they're all four eggs. <laughs> they're clones. If they're clones, maybe it's literally five new breeds of dragon. Oh my god. Only one way to find yeah, out. Yeah, only one way to find out. Just bust open another one. Is this? Is it still what alive? What are they called? The little chocolate eggs. Is I it alive? Now? Is it alive, or I did I kind of kill it by uh, you? Kind of killed it. Yeah. It's currently limp in your grasp. Sure. Hey, you killed the dragon. Good job! I did it! <laughs> I got one! Keyleth, the dragon's like, This was like the Westworld <laughs> built version of killing a dragon. <laughs> How do you want to do this? Sunny side up. <laughs> Benedict. 
perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna use my movement then. I'm gonna be very careful to make sure I touch the armor, the Raven Queen armor, and I'm going to see if I can just fire elemental, like, Scooping roll towards. him away from the edge a little bit. Okay, do so. I will say, I will say the touch of a fire <laughs> elemental ignites whatever it touches. That's yeah, kind but, of the essence of the element. But he has fire resist. Right, which right. means he'll take half damage from any fire um, that you deal. However, and you're unconscious. being the fact that you are in control of your form, you're not trying to hurt something, I would say that you could carefully push him aside um, and I'll allow you a death saving throw as opposed to just taking straight damage. Okay. Oh. This is, I'm, I'm making a... a I'm rolling an advantage. An advantage because of armor. Oh. Oh. Succeed. Okay. Oh, so, we're good. We're good. So you're you cool. we're you good. push we're him good, up right? over this edge. Shoot, let me help you. Oh god, I feel. So <laughs> <laughs> I feel like in another dimension. This didn't go so well. So I you can you, you kind of roll him over. That would a few be the feet. most cute thing to yeah. do. I love you so. Oh god, I kill everything I love. <laughs> I totally <laughs> want to. Oh my god, George, I hugged the puppy really hard. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> You barely move him, you only get him five feet. Okay, it doesn't matter. Can I kind of jump and make my way over like this kind of, this, can I cross this tinier lava right there? Kind of like, or is that like a pretty far jump? I mean, you have to still jump, so you have to make an athletics check. How far of a jump is that? Uh, It's about six, seven feet. Why not at this point? (gasps) No, Lilith, no. Well, that was a natural one. On what? On what? Just moving. Jump. Just trying, trying to, to jump, jump across, trying to trying jump, to jump across across in literally lava. anything else. What, how many hit points do you have? How many hit points do you have? It doesn't matter. She's not even going to get over to anyone to 60. heal them. Oh, well. I don't know, man. One six lava? or six zero? Six, six zero. zero. But no, she's not necessarily fine. Lava I has know, a new rule know. now. Well, not a new rule, the we actual rule. Yeah, the actual rule that we didn't use the very, very first time. Oh, God. But All we right. felt it last time. So, as you rush over trying to help, you go to leap, but your foot In catches what you thought was solid volcanic rock. Unfortunately, <laughs> it's brittle and broken, and it slips beneath your foot. In doing so, you only get about three feet before you plant the lower half of your body straight into the lava. Um, oh my god. That's 53 points of fire damage. 53! You're alive! Get out! Get You're out! Alive. You can get out of it! You've got 70 points left. He died as he lived. <laughs> a fucking Dumb. dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a wall of tears. <laughs> Can you get out? Can she get out of the lava, or is she just in can the lava? I get out now? I'm gonna try and use my movement, or uh, am I gonna die? No, essentially, go? you're you're essentially prone in the lava. <laughs> you rolled the one to jump, and you like basically went. Sh- Belly flopped into lava. Well, this but doesn't is that mean she's gonna take damage trying to get out? Can of I it? get out? Am um, I gonna take damage every time you're, I get out? You're technically prone. The rest of your movement will get you up and out, but the, the like it'll just get you out of the lava. But I'll get out. Get out. Get out. So you'll get out. <laughs> And you'll be just on the edge there. Oh my That's god. Clumsy. <laughs> this, is, this, is this is the worst. This is. <laughs> wow. Oh. I was like, as long as I don't roll a one, that shouldn't be that hard. Oh, okay. Oh, look, someone left a metaphor on the ground. <laughs> oh, god. Don't step in it or anything. Oh, god. It's everywhere. Uh, oh, sure. uh, wow. Well, this could have gone worse. No, I rolled a 12. Rolled a 12, that's an 18 total. It is a... Mm. Hold on a second. Mm. God, I can't breathe. I'm pretty sure... I can't breathe. I can't breathe. As the... I get a plus two for... Right, oh, I know. Okay. The, the sigil, as the burst of colored light begins to spray forward, you watch as it just... Scanlon! Vax wakes up for two seconds and says, You the man! Wise back then! <laughs> Shit! I never get to use prismatic spray. Oh! Ah. That was a Bay Ruiner, right? Bay Ruiner? It would have not been Jaffe bad. Jaffe and I would have been good. It would have been, been bad. Been bad. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> There's no yeah. chance that was like a healing spray, was it? <laughs> Probably. You don't yeah. know. A, a gesture and, of yeah. surrender? It was colored no. like rainbows. I mean, no. it was no, like, it's, it's, like it's, 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 it's the angriest Captain Planet on Earth. It's yeah. just <laughs> yeah. the worst. Yeah. Like, like, like the most Planet. fucked up yeah, Cougar stare. Cauldron burning trees. All right, so as the spell dissipates, um... <laughs> Rashawn angrily. You got eggs, and you gonna lose them. <laughs> you got eggs. Oh God. Rashawn is going to begin the round, turning to the rest of you. I have business elsewhere, and you're being really obnoxious. Stay down. And uh, glancing over is going to go ahead and with both of her hands again, release another, uh, she is almost out of spells, uh, Cone of Cold. God, God, like oh no, this is gonna be Scanlan. Fuck. That is, I need, Shit. so this Scanlan. Is... No! God. Scanlan God, fucking is damn it. frozen, covered in ice, locked in place. A solid gnome, the rift oh. of life, motionless on the ground. I died as I lived, hard. Let's <laughs> <laughs> oh, go one round use. She says she can use the sprinter's boots twice, in all caps. All right then. <laughs> <laughs> the caps are what make it worthwhile. Trust She's on a 30 second delay, so she, she wrote is. that before we said it. Actually, she did write that That's before true. we said it. Good. All yeah. right then. Then that will be just enough to put her up next to Scan. Okay, so Pike puts her hands on either side of his face and says, um, Scanlan, your letter to me was wonderful and I want to do what you've asked, but I can't raise Haley alone. I need you to come back. And she casts Revivify on him. Okay. As she implores to the spirit of Scanlan in this frozen form. Um, you watch as the icy crystals that have coalesced around his form and locked him in place, his face kind of, <sighs> this frozen look of horror, the ice begins to turn to mist around him and this color begins to return to his skin. <laughs> um, his expression relaxes as his eyes suddenly focus and Scanlan, you find yourself conscious again, looking up at Pike, tears in her eyes, pulling her hand back from your shoulder, looking up into the dark, you know, glowing, lit interior of Thordak's lair. Don't cry. <laughs> I'm just a little cold. <laughs> <Why not? laughs> Does anybody have a blanket? <laughs> just hold me. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know, man. It looks rough in here. I don't want to be in here. Uh, <laughs> I'll move forward and to the left a bit. Uh, That's about as far oh, as you can Oh, sorry. Go. To my right. So to the right. Forward to the right. There? there? Okay. Yeah. Uh, man. It's a rough fight. But we're winning right now, guys. We're winning. No, we don't no, need we're... any help, do we? <gasps> Did you forget? I totally forgot! How, how couldn't you forget? Oh it's my like god, all I, thought I, will, about. I will cuddle you, I will cuddle. I even he's, wrote, he's, not, he's not gonna do it till Ashley's dead. I wrote a limerick. Ashley is almost You wrote dead. a limerick? For you. Yeah, but she's not dead For yet. me? Yeah. I do needs what? needs to be permadead. Wait, wait, I forgot I did it. Have you heard tale of Scanlan the Bold? He won't tell us his age, but he's old. With his blade, he's a slayer. With the ladies, a player. But if he picks up the flute, he's pure gold. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna do lightning bolt. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I will. I assume that Scanlan. Uh, feels strange with a brass flute touching his lips because he's never played one before. This is true. But does it, it still come out just as beautiful and pure as, as always? Roll a performance check. Okay. Oh, <laughs> oh I'm so Play nervous. good, play good. I'm about to cry. God, I have a high performance. 30. Oh. Oh. In the midst of this chaos, the rumbling of the room, the sound of the lightning and thunder in the clouds, 
Uh, the falling of rock and soot from the ceiling is drowned out by what sounds like the most beautiful, clear flute that just trills. <laughs> Call the dragon. <laughs> Call the dragon. You finish the song as you watch the brass glow begins to kind of give this, uh, this weird shine around it that begins to emanate this, this kind of, uh, additional warmth and light from it, and then it dulls, and the brass goes to a very tarnished, dark metal material. A sudden uh, burst of, of kind of a whitish, orangish energy that kind of briefly halos uh, Kima, Scanlan, and Pike's forms uh, as you watch a brass talon. <laughs> brass talon that since it was used as the top of our tree, uh, I forgot to bring its base, but we'll be acting there. <laughs> it was a beautiful tree. Fine. Hey, look, he's standing. You've been Whoa. drinking, Yay. Brass Dragon. Oh, Jamon, you looking good. Jamon. 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 Have you been working out? You look like you've been working out. I was wondering when you call. Glad you came. Nothing <laughs> 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 cool. Nothing cool. Sweet oh, right. Sweet right. right. Uh, sure is glad you're here. Yeah, we're, uh, we're happy to see you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jamon, uh, they kind of Ryan, Ryan. stomp their way into the room, <laughs> stepping over you, Scanlan, stepping past you, uh, Vax. Uh, nestles in, kind of surveys the territory. <sighs> A different color than I was expecting. <sighs> and releases a blast of fire breath upwards in the direction. Yes. Smoke him if you got him. Come on, Jamon. Jamon. Uh, that is a 23. Okay, makes the deck safe. So, um,. Rush on, <laughs> pulls out of the way with the benefit from the haste spell. However, it does still uh, uh, take damage, half damage from the spell. And said that's sixteen d six damage. Mm. Wow, sixteen d six. Uh, as the mist kind of dissipates, you see a big toothy grin curl across Raishan's face. A little bit of dragon blood kind of curling past her teeth from the wounds that she suffered. Uh, glaring nervously over at Jamon Saord, who has taken nearly no damage at this point and is currently up in Raishan's face. Raishan was, well, I'm afraid I have to get to the rest of my day. Die amongst your friends as you should. And just tears off of uh, Jamon and goes into a full hasted fly away. Does Jamon get an attack of opportunity, Jamon? Jamon does. Jamon is going to make a. A uh, bite attack against Raishan. The natural 20. Oh! Oh! Does that grapple? Does that grapple? Does that grapple? Does that grapple? Does that does not grapple now. Oh. Uh, Jamon uh, bites out and takes a huge chunk of flesh as the teeth just scrape across the back of Raishan's wing and shoulder blade. <laughs> but manages to pull away and at a full 160 foot flying speed, hasted. And just. Oh Shit. Disappears down the hallway. Should have done that. Should have done it. Into the ashes and shadow behind. And uh, I carefully uh, divide my sachet of Suda into three piece, three parts, three uh, yeah, thirds. Mm. <laughs> and I'm going to snort one third of it. <laughs> what have you there? I've had a not a great day, <laughs> Devosa. Uh, thank you for coming, for answering our call. I just need a second to myself, if you don't mind. Pike approaches from behind and kind of claps her gauntlet onto your shoulder and says, Scanlan, you okay? Oh yeah, I just, uh, this is some, some uh, healing herbs that I got. Okay, well, uh, if, I'm, I'm training in medicinal applications if you need my help. I put it away. Oh, <laughs> <my cures> off. <laughs>
you are still left alone in the tunnel, should you be so inclined. All right, I'll whip it out again. Oh, <laughs> Take a second. Okay. It burns. It burns. Oh, man, does it burn. Um, it burns a lot. And you're like, oh. <laughs> no effect. It burns. That's an effect. Okay. I take out the flute. I pack some in the front of it. <laughs> this is how you treat relics that were gifted to you by the leader of a, of a foreign nation I, by, by turning the expended energy into a makeshift pipe. I'm taking another third and I'm packing it in the front of the flute. Wow. Okay. Rebasin, so. I will I will, I will trip under the flute on the end. I will dip a torch into a, t a bit of lava yes. to light it. <laughs> <laughs> and I am going to bong rip from this ancient brass flute. As you inhale deeply, uh, as opposed to the burning sensation from when you decided to snort the granules, um, the the smoke and mist that emerges uh, as it fills your lungs actually has a a very fine herbal taste to it, almost, and, and it is warm. And there's a head rush immediately that hits you. Um, you feel for a moment your vision kind of crystallize and clarify. All of a sudden, all the colors become briefly brighter, and uh, you feel this slight pulse of of uh, energy whenever you cast a spell. Like the fingers kind of warm at the tips, and you feel like you feel the immediate need to just practice something um, right before your vision gets blurry and dark. As, um, uh, yeah, that's it. The rest of you guys. <laughs> rock that is kind of spiraling through portions of the floor. Uh, there is a large brass dragon just casually strolling around the opposite side. Huge, uh, gargantuan in size, uh, strolling on and a few other uh, humanoid individuals. And you guys watch as a singular uh, male gnome ally is face down on the ground, not moving. Uh, oh, there was no one even there. I run up. Can I run up to him? Yeah. Scanlan. Smack him a couple times. Does he wake up? <laughs> no. Um, so, so you're not you're not sure exactly what happened. You, you you do smell the strange kind of herbal, uh, almost like like an incense scent that is uh, centered around his area, and he is breathing. Oh. Um, but can, he is not conscious. I Pike. check for poison. Can I do a nature check to see if I recognize the scent? Uh. Sure, make a nature check. I am gonna cast. I'll join you I'll on that nature check. And I'm try just it. shouting out Pike's name. Yeah. Oh, I rolled a natural 19. Okay. So that's 29. Nine, no, 20, 30 total. Okay. Uh, best that you can make it. Strangely enough, there's n the scent is medicinal almost, but it's also synthetic in a way that's not natural. This whatever the smell is, it's not it's not a natural incense. PCP. <laughs> 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 It was laced. You want to check to see if the pipe's still packed? Yeah, are there any signs around Scanlan as... Well, yeah, there is There is. There is the the, 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 the tarnished brass flute that was gifted to him by the leader of this, the, the, the foreign city of Ankarel that is currently tarnished by the use of its magic, and it is jammed packed with a black, ashy, crystalline substance with a trail of smoke that is kind of lazily drizzling off the tip. What did Jamon do to him? <laughs> uh, guys, uh, I feel like this was a classic Scanlan. <laughs> In terms of choices, I don't Why think anyone did this. Loot? I don't understand. I um. You watch as Scanlan begins to shift and his eyes begin to flutter open, and you. You come back to consciousness with a mild headache, uh, with all of your friends gathered around, and Keyleth and Vax with their hands in your pockets. Uh, I'm Vax, hi. Vax, hi. Get Sorry. your hands out of my pockets. What you the like fuck it. did you do? Wait, first. Are you real? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> is this a hallucination? Yep. Yes. Wow. Scanlan, why would you be asking if this is a hallucination? Just curious. We've had a very rough day. How do I feel, Matt? Um, I mean, you feel like there was there was something to the rush, but your body rejected it. Rejected it. 
there was a lair action that knocked me unconscious. Holy shit. Mm. What's a lair action? I mean, <laughs> there was a trap set by Thordak previously to his death that knocked me unconscious. What was What's it? What's in this like flute, a, like you a piece of shit? Or? What's in the flute? Herbs, give it to me. No, no, no. No, <laughs> no you're too short, you can't even reach. <laughs> oh my god, angry T-Rex. Can I do an insight check on him? Sure. Scanlan, make a deception check. 32. <laughs> Where'd you get kills? 22. Legitimately? Like, oh, I guess some misunderstanding. I'm shaking, guys. I'm sorry. I'm I'm not myself. What I'm just. Was, was it like poison gas or like lava, or did a rock fall on your head? I appreciate your concern, but yeah. what the fuck, Vax? Why did you just charge in after Raishan like that? <laughs> See how I did that? <laughs> <laughs> this is the best thing ever. Uh, yeah, how knocked about are they? I mean, obviously singes and abrasions and, like, and, really, and weariness, really but like everybody. Is. Raise your hand if you have less than thirty hit points. I'm at thirty. Oh, I could probably take out the whole group. <laughs> 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 Wow, that would be Blood a twist. twist. <laughs> oh my god, are you right, Sean? Rock yeah. I was sent here by acquisitions. <laughs> Assassination mission. You I love it. sons of bitches. You befriended us. Next time you, you pay us. your protection <laughs> money. <laughs> Just like us to do this. We trust everybody. God, we're idiots. My hair is still singed short again. Yeah. Before we part kind of ways with Jarrett, yeah, totally. I'd like to pull him aside <laughs> a little bit. Okay. okay. As you, you pull Jarrett aside, you get but a few steps away, and he goes, I'm not doing it again. I know, I know. <laughs> I just wanted to thank you uh, for your efforts, and, you know, it really meant a lot to me, and, uh, and I'm gonna cast an eighth level modify memory on you. What? You still have an eight level spell? You have an eighth level spell left? Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Um, I feel bad that he died now. <laughs> is it? Is this through the hand cone? Because that's a whole. That's not as subtle. No, it would not be subtle. So I cannot do the hand cone. It is. That's okay. Face. Roll the five. So, what do you? What do you modify? <laughs> when he delivered the suda to me, uh, I thanked him for it, and I went into a. a I'm implanting this memory in his head. I told him why I needed it so badly, and it was a very sad tale of how a goblin killed my mother, and the, the image haunts me to this day, and I can't get through a, a night, a f I can't function without some sort of sustenance. He felt terrible for me and vowed to get me more, much more. <laughs> <laughs> and at that, at that time, I gave him 50 platinum. <laughs> Which he finds in his pocket now because I gave it to him. We have met the enemy. <laughs> oh my god. You're going full haste for He feels for him. He is yeah. the one that knocks. I can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> And he's never seen me break down like that. In no, he his hasn't. mind, anyway. He hasn't. And, and uh. Wow! Well, Outstanding. Okay. I can't. <clears throat> what? Okay. That's that. All right. And, uh, and, and at which point you watch as his eyes kind of glaze over for a moment. Uh, as he was, make, he was about to make his way towards getting his own shower, he let everybody else go first. Um, and he kind of stops for a second and his eyes glaze over and he kind of blinks for a second. Well, I. I understand these have been very trying days. If there's anything I can do to help, let me know. You know how to help. <laughs> <laughs> and 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 you, you see the look in his eyes that you've seen before, which is the I don't do this. I barely know how to do this. And the connections I have He's just it's 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 gonna be hard. And you see this as look, but as opposed to where previously it was I can't do this anymore. He goes he reaches out to your shoulder and goes I'll do what I can. 
That's all I ask. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Shorthall. Yeah. The meat man cometh. <laughs> <laughs> Rest well, Jared. Thank you for your brave battle. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, my God. Just wow. so you know, I'm expecting a raise. Because, uh... I kind of almost died, like, twice. <laughs> it's ridiculous. You should have seen me. <laughs> I did. Yeah. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> and he goes and leaves for to get to take a bath. Take turns. Excellent. And to Is this where we have the cannon? I take mine no, very no, quickly that. and walk in the buck, and I find Percival's bath, and silently walk in while he's bathing, and I sit in the bath on the other side, and just stare for a minute. You know you're getting weirder. <laughs> <laughs> um. You and I are very different. I would agree. Although again, I'm 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 in a bath <laughs> at the moment. I'm cut to it. I think I, I was really working on something. <laughs> wow. I didn't think you were. Uh... You made me a little off. <laughs> so me. <laughs> um, anyway, but I'm glad I have you around still. Me as well. I I like this family. I'd like to keep it. Don't say another word. I, I really show him my ass and I leave. Uh. <laughs> as soon as he leaves, um. I come up from the water and go, oh! I was so hoping you were going to do that. Uh. They're tubs. big bathtubs. That is so gross. <laughs> oh, a minute long. I love you. That was wonderful. That is so gross. <laughs> oh my gosh. 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 I'm not talking about Vex. Vex can pour Kim all she wants. I don't give a fuck. That is a twisted D and D choice, man. That is that is an amazing D and D choice. That is crazier. That shit is crazier than the broom to me, Laura. Holy shit! Boosh. So it's hit me from the top. Hey, Laura. I'm working on something here. Working on something here. Working on something. Yeah, we gotta speed this. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. Well, in, in hindsight, that changes everything. Wow. Yes. Yes, and. <laughs> God, um, that so is that what those water breathing potions have gone to? <laughs> we, we, we are actually bathing in them, ironically. They're, they're in the water flow. Oh. It's like the abyss. It's a, it's a, it's a... Would you do me a favor? down the line once all this is behind us. Will you go back to the theater with me? <laughs> what is it with you in the theater? <laughs> <laughs> Why? I don't understand it either. I have also heard that Thordak has fallen. So congratulations are in order. Yes. We also found you a replacement flying carpet. <laughs> if you'd like it. Scanlan, you're on my list. <laughs> Although we could use it in our battles to come. Uh, I'll tell you what, when I have my tower rebuilt, then perhaps we'll find the right place for it where it matches the rest of the furniture. Okay. Until then, hold on to it. It's really tacky color, though. So we won't let it come and change that. anywhere <laughs> near acid at all. Please, I would appreciate that. <laughs> in fact, any of my things that you may have stolen or taken over the past few years, keep them away from acid in general. Far Thank you. Road. Really, the rug was the Far only, the only thing. I took a couple pictures while I was in that shit <laughs> frame. <laughs> no, I'm good, I'm good. 
Ken, you should try this um this wine that Grog got from oh, Ken. Okay. You should try it. Oh, it's really good. It's so tasty. We're going, we're going, we're going there. Right? Sand dunes. <laughs> I mean, terribleness. You, you don't want to. I haven't tried it either. You don't want to uh, finish your life without trying this bug juice. Yeah, it's the nickname we have for it. I pop the top and I hand the bottle to him. Oh, Agreed. God. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh, that's going to be my oh. best roll all year. <laughs> so, as it fills your gullet, the, the warm burning sensation you're used to with like fine heavy liquors is surpassed by the ever burning sensation of fire within your lungs. Um, and as, as the heartburn begins to kick in, you stop for a second and realize that the burn goes away and everything goes numb. How you doing? I don't <laughs> <laughs> What, one more time? Dude <laughs> got in the way. Is this smooth? He likes it. I think I, he likes it. I have thought that as well. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. Burning Man, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome yeah. to Burning Man. <laughs> that is yeah. good shit. The fire has passed through you. <laughs> It's gonna go all the way through. <laughs> so be careful when it comes out the other end. Good reincorporation. <laughs> good, good. As this is happening, you all look over and glance that as Laura has cleared the table and begun to set a space for the, the scry ritual, oh, yeah. just oh, staring yeah. at you right. all. Right, no, no, no. no. Yes. Thanks, thanks for setting this up for us, Laura. All right. Oh, please keep mm. going. This I didn't mean to is, be no, rude. This is the most fun I've had in do days. You want, <laughs> do you want some? After. <laughs> oh, 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 Do it! 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 Do She's got magic. Constitution for days. She's so cool. Teach me your sorceress ways. Keep talking. Keep talking. How do you feel? I feel fine. Uh, I don't. I don't know what to say. Fucking magic. She's she's amazing. You're awesome. Can can you say red leather, yellow leather? (laughs) (laughs) What about? (laughs) What about? What about? Try saying three times in a row, can you say Irish wristwatch? <laughs> three times in a row. Irish. <laughs> this is to care or Patrick. Irish wristwatch. <laughs> as fast as you can, three times in a row. I have faith in you. <laughs> Irish. <laughs> <laughs> Irish. (laughs) (laughs) Irish wish. You know, thank you for playing. (laughs) (laughs) That was a valiant effort. There's a flash, and both Keyleth and Allura open their eyes, but there is no pupil, there is no iris, it is just white. And they both just (laughs) fly. That was the most Brian Blessed fuck I've had. It was amazing. Um, Okay, that's boring. The box, like, can is it look like it's simple to open? Uh, you pick it up and look at it. It has a little latch on it. You shake it. There's something inside rattles around. Uh, you and the, the the wooden case just breaks in half, and as it does, you see what looks to be a small leather sleeve, uh, similar shape, kind of and land. I'll go get it. Pick it up, and it's a leather pouch. It has a little little top that's buttoned sh- shut, and looks like there's there's something inside, almost like cards. <gasps> no. Cards. No. no. Oh, yeah, yeah, open the sleeve, the leather sleeve. <laughs> what, what are you going to pull out? You, you, well, I just want to open it. Okay, you open it, and you can see inside what looks to be about... 
Uh, about 13 cards, like oh, tarot looking no, cards. No, 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 cards. No, the cards, yeah. No. No. Do they smell Carrie. like anything? It's okay. Uh, it's they, smell, they smell clean and fresh. Oh my god. Carrie. Okay. How far away is the lava? Um, maybe from, from, from where you are right now, in this portion, I'd say 25 feet. Who the hell you no, this called? No, Travis! <laughs> <laughs> what? What are you even doing? I'm going through the loot. You all are fucking healing and shit. I'm trying to find something useful Did here. Did you find anything useful? <laughs> Laura Bailey manifests. It. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the devil on her <laughs> a heart, please. <laughs> no, as, well, as, as you guys have been resting, to be fair, as you're all sitting there in the tunnel kind of talking, you hear in the distance occasionally, ding, 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 ding. <laughs> you look in the distance and you see Grog just like rummaging through yeah. the loot and throwing shit. <laughs> what are you doing? Well, I'm trying to find stuff. There's a giant rolled up carpet over here. A carpet? Well, I mean, yeah, I mean some people call it a telepathy or whatever. <laughs> I go over to Grog. <laughs> what do you have in your hand? Uh... I don't know, it looks like a bunch of cards. Can I see them? No, they're mine, I found oh them. Gosh. You have all of this stuff to choose from. Have at it. All right, so you pull one card out? Yeah, I pull oh one God, card out, point. but I want to pull the one in the middle because I remember magicians being like, choose a card, oh, any card. No. Travis, you could destroy the world. You could. You're just so excited. Okay. I mean, like on any day, right but now, you're lucky I'm really in I don't control. know what can come out of that thing, but like anything, really bad things anything. can come out. Okay. Oh, in, they're magic. In my rush to get everything ready, I did not... Uh, how dare you? You didn't think anyone would be this crazy prepare. to actually what happen. Happened. Well, there was that too, but you know, <laughs> I, learn, I learn lessons the hard way sometimes. If Travis yeah, gets a all. hold of it. Not ready for esports, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Not ready for. I am. Okay. So excited. Oh, God. Oh, oh, and oh, I don't there think is Joker. Are, I don't think, think do. I would have the guts to do it. I, I think wouldn't. Because I, 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 I would know. I would no, not have no. the guts. Because you even, know what it is. I couldn't yeah. metagame. Well, there's like 13 I couldn't cards. I could around it. I What's the percentage of bad here. cards to good cards? Probably not. It's mostly bad. 5%. It's mostly bad. Do you know? All right, Grog. You know all the cards. I think one of these cards could end our game. I want you to just pull. One of these oh, cards, turn them all around. Shuffle it's a bit. Be fine. How many yeah. pulls do I get? Just, you say you're just pulling one card, so you pull one card. Yeah. What's really amazing it's is that only Travis. Has yeah. Travis is the only one. All right, one. what's it say? You have this no, conviction to your no, you, voice. No, you, just, you show me what it is. I believe you. I'm very calming. Yeah, I believe you. All right, good to know. Uh, good, to know. Uh, good to know. Good to know you all died. I am actually sweating. should only be on one page. Why would it need to be on multiple pages? It is the most powerful It's a It's a It's the most powerful thing in the book. Okay, hold on, I have to go back here for a second. Why are there more pages, Matt? You'll find out, you'll find out. Yeah. Why would you give me that? All right, so. Oh, God. With this, oh. you pull the card out, and it's uh, it looks it looks like this beautiful uh, tarot-like design of what looks like a, a metallic key that is currently held aloft in space, uh, behind what looks like almost like the stars converging into some sort of a uh, a pattern in the night sky. Um, That's good. Stars are nice. At this point, Orion wouldn't fuck us. Nope. The you. Uh, That's not a sword on his belt. There is. Uh, as you pull the card and look at it, the card <laughs> bursts into flames, oh. <clears throat> and you feel the slight tingling in the hand that held the card. Suddenly, you watch as there is a flash of light within your grasp, and it looks to be something <laughs> extending from where the card once was. You immediately feel something steel in your hand, and as you clutch your fingers instinctually around it to try and crush whatever it is, you look and watch as this beautiful looking uh, scimitar like blade is now in your grasp. Whoa. It's beautifully made, uh, an ornate uh, hilt and handguard, and it has like a, a chain dangling from the bottom of the pommel that has <gasps> looks, looks like, a, like a small blue gem. It's a beautiful looking piece of weaponry, and as you kind of whip it back and forth, it's perfectly balanced. Does it make any How noise when I swing it? Uh, uh, a card turned into a sword? We should pull all the other cards Just to see what swords they'll you make. You could do that 12 more times. I am apparently <laughs> the most powerful sorcerer that has ever lived. Oh. This is a deck oh of weapon God. cards. I mean, seriously, um, though. 
Does anyone know what these are? Grog just made a sword out of one of these cards. Do we know what this is? They only activate under my magical touch. I'm gonna look at. I'm gonna look at it and just see if I happen to know anything about it. Roll an Arcana check. I don't know anything about it. <laughs> I, I may take. I one. rolled a twelve. Do I know anything about it? Mm, mm, they're apparently magical. Twenty-three. Twenty-three. Um, you, being a studious uh, child and reading many things, you have heard rumors. You have heard myths. You've heard legends of of glory and woe based around an artifact referred to as the Deck of Many Things. This, start, that was I one start of these? to open it up and... Yeah, no, 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 no. Oh, you look... I think these make weapons. They, 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 they can make this. a lot of things. <laughs> and they make bad things. They can make a lot of bad things. So, Let's, and do you know what activates them, just looking at a card? I, if I recall, it doesn't take much. Let's I just... I just shut the little case and stuff it in my... Let's... Let's keep it. Well, let, I was yeah, going obviously. to say, let's put it somewhere no one will ever find it, but that will be fine for now. May, uh, uh, <laughs> may, may, may I? I actually, oh, I, I found thank that. You. That's, that's wrong. That's sweet. Someone will find it there. But I don't, I, I just, I want to hold on to it. It's mine. No, you will You can keep all the other gold. <laughs> Yeah, no, I don't trust you with Making it. Making a request of anything. Why not? Because you do stupid things. Look what I made. You made a beautiful sword, and I'm proud of you. Yeah, it, I'm sure it's like reactive its user, and I have Maybe told there's them another how. set in here. We should find it. And oh then you God. can have it. No, oh, if gee. you find another set, you can have it. <laughs> That's a bad deal, too. <laughs> I go to look for another deck of many things and nothing else. <laughs> So, okay. so, so Grog, Grog pulls the the sword out from the bag of holding, and uh, as he kind of reaches, and extends it towards you. You feel the sudden, like, almost like a like a, a sudden burst of headache in the back of your mind. And you kind of stop for a second, Grog, and you look at the blade. And there, across the metallic sheen of this gorgeous scimitar, you see this image begin to almost seep through and look at you. It's this female-like face, very faint, a reflection. Female setting. Um, but the teeth are fanged, and you see what looks to be almost like a swirl of snakes around the outside. At that moment, you feel that burst of headache in the back of your head grow extremely strong, and you drop the blade out of your hand, and you guys watch as Grog falls to his knees, just clutching the sides of his head. The sword, as it hits the ground, it clacks, king, king, king. The blade almost immediately rusts and turns into a dark, dull metal. The gems crack and turn to dust, and what now lies there is an inert weapon. Oh. What, what you, the fuck? What did you do? You get the sense, just because you've seen a few things like this, that this was actually an inherent curse within the blade, and it just took a moment oh. to dig itself into Grog. Oh no. Uh, but the, cur- the, the, the source of the curse is expended, and Grog, you are permanently at minus two to all your saving throws. Oh. Correcting my mistake from the card last oh, session. Oh shit! This is the deck of many things. This, this was this this was me completely either misreading or mishearing it last time. As so the internet let me know that that was the card drawn. Kima and Alora catch up to you guys. They're <laughs> they've gathered their materials and they're prepped for battle. Kima's fully armored and kind of you know. How, does she look badass in like she, her full sorcerer's armor? Yeah. Oh, Alora. Yeah. P- paint picture. Paint okay. picture. <laughs> what she look like? <laughs> yeah. So Alora still an upper you know middle class. Well, she, she's still uh, she's wearing one of her her many uh, <laughs> ceremonial robes uh, that she does for you know presentary uh, Taldore council work, um, but you see she has a hood up over her head. Her uh, her hair braids are both kind of tied together behind her neck so they don't get in the way. Uh, you notice that there is some really nice jewelry that's adorning the side of her neck. Uh, the staff she carries with her usually is relatively simple, but you see now that there are a number of runes kind of carved in a spiral along the, the sides of it. Um, you can see a number of rings that she previously wasn't wearing that are on, mm-hmm. and her face is hardened, and you see that she, where normally she has this kind of air of keeping the room, you know, almost a, a, a teacher or parental type presence in the area, there's kind of an intensity and darkness to her face that you haven't really seen before. Not since at least the attack on the city happened. Work. Work. <laughs> 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 oh and my Kima. God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> and Alora. Uh, Alright, guys. As you glance up, you watch as a glyph begins to slow. Dispel magic. From Dispel magic. <laughs> From Scanlan? Scanlan? From Scanlan right now? Yeah. Okay, have Scanlan go ahead and roll a, an like, ability check. I don't like the a what? Ability. As he shrieks upward and releases the spell, you watch as the glyph that was glowing 
Rockcliffe, you don't have to turn on the blue lights. Yes. <laughs> Rockcliffe. Oh, oh, shit. Yes. I mean, come on. You don't have to give our bodies to the spikes. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, Sam. Love you. <laughs> that was good. That was good. Thank you. Good. Thank you. Good. Oh, that felt good. Like police up in the air. Yeah. I'm in the Let me see one of your jugs. Yeah, okay. What do you want for it? I hand her my jug. <laughs> 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 Takes it and kind of sets the jug right in the stream and releases it, and the jug kind of <laughs> sucks up and essentially covers Locks the it? gem, and the yeah. water kind of just spills across the sides. And then what? Huh. All right, even my theory was wrong. What? Oh, I'm not there. What's your, what, what, okay, hang on, what was your theory? Maybe we can do a process well, of elimination. I was trying to, and you hear in the distance behind where you guys came from. I'm moving right now. It sounds like collapsing tunnels. Many, 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 many things falling, cracking, impacting. Hey, Gotta Laura, go. good theory. Let's run. Gotta go. Let's run. We are running towards Vax. Uh, it, it just reversed. It just reversed the gravity in the in the ravine. Oh. Which, as Carrick says this, and you all look back, you watch as hundreds and hundreds <gasps> and hundreds and hundreds of bodies fall? of bodies are now tumbling. Back Shut down up. into the ravine below from where they came. Oh shit! Turn down the wood. <laughs> <laughs> that was so white right now. That was amazing. <laughs> we, can, we can make it whiter. Uh, so white. Uh, I can, don't make this any whiter, please. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, Wait, actually, can Wait I? A what? Can I pull? Can I pull Vex aside real quick? Yeah. I hate to like beat a dead uh, bush, horse, cow. <laughs> I hate to beat a dead cows, cow, cows. but like, I, I really did like that little magic thing I found in, what in like, magic thing, when we were looting and stuff. Yeah. And like, I've been really worried about you, and I know how you like to bargain, right? So I thought maybe I could trade you back for what I found, and I have this little parapet of wound closure, and you'd be dying so much, right? And if you wear this and you die, you immediately stabilize on your next turn. I figured that'd be like a good trade. Do I have to? Attuned to that, Grog. No. Nope. You're lying. It's a big word. I don't really know what you're saying. <laughs> I really loved it. I mean, it made a, it made like a magic sword when I touched it. Grog, and then it gave you a headache. Yeah, but I can deal with a headache. No, I won't. I, I, I just, I found it, you know? Grog. Ah! Grog! What? Grog, no. you have to promise me you won't pull anything from it. All you can do is hold on to it. Yeah. That's all you can do. Yeah. You can't look at anything. You have to keep it in its little pouch. Okay. So you know in Guardians of the Galaxy when he gives him that little ball at the end? Yeah. Can I do that? Can I give him a pouch? Here's your, here's your cards back, but don't. Look at them, Grog. They're really dangerous. All right? You want to trade? Yeah, give me the necklace. Okay, there. I take the cards. Okay. Um, so what are, you, what are you giving him? A little, a little pouch. A little pouch. That's the shape of the deck of cards. Nine. Go ahead and roll perception check, Grog. <sighs> me? Well, you. Well, Mortal Kombat. Six. Yes! Oh! The trade is complete. She hands you your deck of cards. She takes her parapet of wound closure. Oh my god, I'm in so much trouble. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. I, I like to think that there's a live kitten in this pouch. <laughs> uh, uh, if well, you pull the right card, yeah. You saved the party, but your marriage is in jeopardy. I know. <laughs> At what cost? He's so mad at, at me. What He's so mad. It's really good that he's sitting over at the other table right now. Wait, the Dwarven Thrower. This is the Warhammer. Okay. You gain a plus three attack bonus, bonus to attack and damage rolls. It has a throne property, normal range of 20 feet and a long range of 60 feet. Grog. 
When you hit with a ranged attack using this weapon, it deals an extra 1d8 damage, or if the target is giant, which a dragon is, 2d8 damage. Actually, gi- an actual giant. Yeah. Oh, is a giant. Never mind. Immediately after the attack, the weapon flies back to your hand. Another one of those secrets she was talking about. Yeah, it's, it's Thor hammerish. Now this is a battle. It's been too long. If you have the belt of dwarven kind attuned, you will you can attune to that hammer as well. But only only under that condition. If you attune, if you unattune one, if you unattune the belt, you have to unattune the hammer. Oh, I and you to have to give Matt twenty dollars. <laughs> I'm so happy about that. Yes, that as well. I have wonderful. I have spider boots. Oh, you have spider boots. Have spider what boots. about you, Grog? Huh? What was your question? Well, Sorry, I'm drooling all over this fight. Are, are you still? Are you still wearing the same yeah, boots that you made for boots? yourself? Yeah. You is that okay? Yeah. Fancy. I'm wearing the boots right. of Pharaoh leaping. Is, he's got a leaping boots. Is that a Thor hammer? Is that what that is? Oh, yeah, it's pretty boots. fucking close. <laughs> bang, bang. Apparently, I throw it, it comes right back to my head. If I had like a frenzied rage and three attacks, would have gone like, whoop, 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 like a giant yo yo? Technically, yes. <laughs> I'm taking this one. <laughs> I, I get it. Oh, I my understand. God. How, uh, how far can you throw that thing? 60 man? feet. 60 feet. Well, it's 20 feet, and then 60 feet is the second range increment. So if it's longer uh, than 20 feet, your attacks are at disadvantage. Son of a bitch. But you can still attack with them. But if I do Rex attack, it would, would be a normal roll, and then yeah. everyone gets advantage against you. I love you right now. If these two tables weren't not way, dude, love, love the dice. Mad love. On love camera. the dice that rolled that treasure hoard. So. All right. So yes, you do sense um, what appear to be three sources of dragon uh, life force Eggs. within the space, r- roughly in the direction. Of this mountain and below. That means they're alive. They're here. They're here. <gasps> oh God! <laughs> they're here. Oh, no, she's still oh, here, oh, and oh. I think the eggs are okay because I can still feel like oh, those Jesus, dragons are still alive. In I think so. Oh God! Damn it! That's long. Oh God! Okay. All right. But does anyone <laughs> need to do anything else before we? Go I have to go here? take a poo. I have to pee too. <laughs> I have to pee so bad. <laughs> What do you? Like, what is that in character? For that? Mm. Uh, it's both. <laughs> I'm so nervous. <laughs> okay, a little bit of both. Two of them too far away, but one of them does kind of reach out with his arms as it tumbles past you and kind of swaths out to try and grab what? you. Um, I need you to make make an acrobatics check. <clears throat> you got this. Oh, you got such a bonus. Come on, I know, I know, I know. girl. Such a bonus, huh? Such a bonus. Oh, Look at Matt's face. No. Look at his face. <gasps> oh fuck no. No, but come he, on. Such a bonus. No, come Does on. She, such a bonus. Did they both make that roll? She's the one driving the broom. She's having to try She's and maneuver. Him, yeah. I, I was I was like about to interject and I know that I didn't make that fast enough, but at no. some point I would already like to be moving to interject in this. Right, you, as you're watching them start going across, you get a step out onto the bridge. I'm not going onto the bridge. I'm, I'm pulling out my gun and trying to, and like, I see. Oh, wait, doesn't, wait, Pike has a thing that it, like, she can help people with their, their, um, War God's Blessing? War God's Blessing? That's, That's an attack roll. Yeah. Damn it! The creature grabs you and essentially grapples you in the moment. Yeah. And as that happens, the momentum of pulling you up causes the broom to kind of shift out of whack, and you begin to careen in a slight circle. So Pike's on the broom with you. Yeah. You get grabbed and yanked off the broom. Oh, cool. um, Pike Are manages to tethered? hold the broom, but currently Pike was not the current driver of it, and so she's clutching a broom that is just floating to gravity. You watch as both Vex, sorry, uh, yeah, both Pike and Vex go from careening off to tumbling upward into yeah. the darkness above. Are they both attached to the broom? Uh, no, Vex is pulled off the bridge. But she's but she's still tethered. Uh, she's, she's still tethered. tethered. Yeah, but she's so both, so both of them are just kind of like <laughs> kind of spinning yeah, in this to get emotional. Action. Action. And then I come up and I say, "Can I pet your wings? I've never pet them before." <laughs> <laughs> There's <laughs> things going on Ew. in this room. You hear this, you hear this heavy sigh from Alora behind you. She's like. <sighs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just, this is my first time actually adventuring with you, and 
I'm yeah, sorry. We're, we're, no, this, is, this is the plan. We're going, we're going to see if, if we put the PDA, PDA in the bowl. We'll see if oh, that'll don't, open the door. Don't get me wrong. It just reminds me of my early days as an adventurer, and I forgot just how ridiculous uh. we were. So. <laughs> ah, I see I have your attention after all. You've had my attention since you entered this place. You want the subtlest of adventurers? No. We... I mean, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was waiting for. It. Thank you. <laughs> point to you, point to you. Yeah. <laughs> Touche. Uh, no, closer to me, closer to me. Right, yeah, right there. And I'm gonna throw uh, at the eggs. Okay. Um, and it's... Uh, I'm going first, so with Assassinate, I get advantage on all these because I'm the first to go in combat. Cool. Yes. Uh, Yep. Sure. Starting at third level, you're deadly, so you get to drop on your enemies. You have advantage on attack rolls against any creature that hasn't taken a turn in the combat yet. Okay. Sure. The eggs have not taken a turn in the combat yet. <laughs> uh, that's great. Uh, and I'm going to use sharpshooter, uh, so I'll get a negative five on these. So <laughs> the eggs have not taken a turn. That's all done. The egg assassin. Yeah. Twenty-one for the first. That hits. Okay. This Easter, the eggs yeah. have not taken a turn. <laughs> Prepare Hang to on. be scrambled. <laughs> One is a uh, is a uh, eighteen. Eighteen hits. Okay. Uh, is oh that's not that good. Uh, is uh, is uh, is uh, fourteen. It's up. Fourteen damage. Yeah. It's up. Okay. Do so they all three hit or just the first two? Uh, first two. First two. Okay. Yeah. So the first one gets the sneak attack damage. Uh, s- those eggs don't even know you're coming. That's right. That's right. You, oh, you want to take less damage? No, no. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 So two, These eggs are caught unaware. Yeah. This will be over easy. Yeah. Yeah. Keep those puns coming. Keep them coming. I'm so proud. I'm so proud. I'm so proud. So proud. Yeah. So proud. Yeah. So proud. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Come on, crit on a dead skull! Go, 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 go! Natural 20. Natural <laughs> 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 It's like a beached whale. <laughs> Dude, yo, uh, how do you want to do this, Grog? <laughs> Maybe there's, there's potentially corpses in those cages that mm. could be something. Yeah, no, do, do, do it. I'm, I'm focused on the egg. Okay, right. sorry. Deadly traps. I leap towards the egg. For the first time, may I throw the dwarven hammer at... Baby and corpse. Go for it. <laughs> reckless. Yep, advantage. Your attacks are reckless, yes. man. Do it again. No, oh, no, 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 That's okay. It's dead. It, it probably hits. You are going to kill two dead things. <laughs> <laughs> that hits. Go ahead and roll damage. All right. That's but this serious. is just a D8 because it's one headed. How'd you get that? Yeah. Yeah. He needs Don't worry about it. Yeah. He needs this. Uh, 21. Gern Blanston wept up. Uh, Gern Blanston wept and wept o. His wonderful broom had been swept o. First Arvex spied it, then she shanghaied it. Because it turns out that she's a total klepto. <laughs> <laughs> you can take your D12 inspiration. <laughs> Bring it back. Hmm. Uh, and then I will incorporate. Uh, Mills, I want to hold my thing too, but I'm not going to. I'm going to hope this works and the dragon's coming at us, maybe. Uh, I'm going to. <laughs> I'm going to step forward as much as I can towards the sound I heard and blow my. Horn of fog Back. just everywhere. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. Nice tactic. Man, can't you put that drug pipe down for that? Good tactic. <laughs> Don't take it away from me, man. Blow one though, blow one though. Nothing's going on, Mom. It's no. for tobacco, okay? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. You got one. Or uh, wait, a, damage, wait a guys. minute! Is this magical damage? Some stick uh, on it. I'm going to activate. I'm going to use my reaction to activate Cabal's Ruin. I'm going to. I'm going to absorb. I'm going to absorb uh, the spell, and the damage I take is halved. And the cloak gains the number of charges equal to the spell's level. The level of the trigger. Show. <laughs> yes, it does. Wow! So, that is a yeah. yeah, purse. Which that is uh, it's a ninth level spell. Yeah, I don't get all nine though, do I? Because. Because the, the, I, does the spell hold nine charges? The, the, the cloak holds six charges. However, as you absorb the spell, the cloak <laughs> flares out and actually grows an additional six inches in length. The inside begins to sparkle with electrical energy as it pulls one of the meteors into the cloak itself. It kind of arcs inward what? and <laughs> vanishes into the side. It bursts behind you and, and the damage is taken, but the cloak, the cloak now is shimmering with a very vibrant, <laughs> continuous spark of arcing energy. <laughs> My eyes are like, yeah. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, ye
Oh shit! Yeah. What? Okay. Um. So exalted. It's okay. okay. Not um, just awoken. Right. Exalted. It has. Oh my god! Uh, so jealous. Four per turn. Jeez. I'm gonna go ahead and cast disintegrate at Pike. Oh man. What disintegrate? You know what? Actually, Allura is conscious on the ground. Allura is going to attempt to counterspell that. Mm. That is a six-level spell. Uh -huh. Allura, some of these like, and try and get that out at the last minute. So. With with disintegrate, does the body go away? Like I don't understand. Yeah, that ain't good. Do you have a, does the does the arm will the armor with fire DC equals ten spells level? Allura's spell on fire is five. So. That is an eight. That's not enough. What? She rolled an eight plus five. It's not enough to, to, to counter the spell. As the beam hits her, you watch her flesh begin to turn to dust. Oh. As the fingers begin to, to disperse, as a burst of flame from the armor <laughs> flares outward, oh. bring her back to her feet um, at what, whatever the uh, effect of the armor is. She's up. She's up. Oh she's not God. dead. Brings oh her back God. to five hit points. I forgot she had. That. And she's on her feet. Nine. Twelve, is it? Am I hot? I'm pale. I'm a redhead, so I show everything that happens. Um, Twelve, <laughs> seventeen. Um, I don't think that came out. Right. No, it doesn't. <laughs> don't, bother, don't, bother. don't worry about it. You're really distracted. Why won't you all just stay down and die with dignity? We don't do anything with dignity. <laughs> Scanlan's lifeless corpse has a pool of urine around it. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. Oh. I've been down this road. Don't you think I hope advantage on those death saves, though? <laughs> oh, what was that? <laughs> Unfortunately, the spell, the spell that did that. I'm something. I'm sorry. Yeah, 25. I'm thinking about everything right. Um, now, is that just a straight up. It's a straight D20. Straight D20. Seven. A seven. So that's a one fail. So you failed one death saving for me. Well, you could call that a failure. <laughs> <laughs> but it really depends on what I'm trying to accomplish here. Yeah. But don't call it a failure. In the Hindu faith, you would welcome it. Yes. Uh -huh. You know, I, if, if what I'm trying to accomplish is a lot of drama, I consider that a great success in a role. All right. So, Kima, as it's now Kima's turn. Um, sees you on the ground, kind of convulsing uh, from the the blast of the impact, the giant crater in the ground where the meteor had struck, and hearing these blasts of arcing energy around the around the other side. She has practically no vision of what's happening right now. All she sees is you down and Grog run off, and she goes, "Come on, my bearded friend!" Runs up and is going to go ahead and hit you with uh, lay on hands for let's see, for Kima. She can do up to. She's going to give you thirty hit points. Oh, that's nice. Uh, Allura has to make a death saving throw. No! The seven, there's a failure. She this is a death saving throw. Uh, that brings us to Pike. Pike, I need to make a roll a death saving throw. It's a five. <laughs> Pike fails a death saving throw. Okay, Goddamn. okay. Now, nobody else just willy nilly makes some rolls, Keyless, okay? <laughs> Do I need to make a death saving throw? Okay. Is she still unconscious? No, she's 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 up. Um, she's, she's gonna get stand up, and if she uses her sprinter's boots, can she run over to Scanlan and cast Revivify? Uh. Would she up. be able to get to him? She would just get to him. Okay, side, yes. then she's going to cast Revivify on Scanlan. All right, so go ahead and roll a d20 and add her Wisdom modifier. Plus the Wisdom, yeah, so 20 plus 5. Nine. Nine, okay. What? So, so the Revivify fails, reaches out, God fucking doesn't hit. damn it! Um, you're still dead. You're not, like, permanently dead. But you cannot, you cannot be revived for the remainder of this battle. You can only be used ritual return, and the DC does go up to a 13 going forward. Okay. Currently, you get Pike touches and, and releases the energy of the spell in the Scanlan's body, and you feel the necrotic essence of this this necromancer's sanctum. The the very dark nature of this place is preventing the connection between the spirit and the body of Scanlan at the moment. Uh, the spell having no effect. Um, Pike still has a bonus action if she'd like. Um, she's gonna throw a. Sacred Flame at Raishan. Okay. And that's at 17th level, that's what she's at now, Sacred right? Flame is an action? It is. Needs to be a bonus action, unfortunately. Balls. Mm. Great. Tight. Um, she, can she do like a heal at She can do a healing word. Healing word, tight. She's gonna do that on herself then. Level two? Sure. Level All right, so 2d4 plus five. Eleven. Eleven. Alrighty, so that heals her up. Okay. God, I can, I can just in, get close enough to stick one on her. 
I'm gonna get stupid. So. I know, same thing. All right, then it's Pike's turn. Keyleth, you're up. I shouldn't have been fucking tight. Well, things have gotten simpler. Okay, hearing Alora's words and seeing Scanlan down, can I get a, a movement to where I can kind of get over here over. and see her? Keep going, keep going. You can see her there. I can see her there? Yes. I'm assuming she's within 150 feet of me? Yes. This is kind of like a Hail Mary, you guys. Oh, Jesus, fuck. All right, I am going to cast my one eighth level spell, and I'm going to attempt to feeble mind her. But we could get lucky. Yeah. Four plus four. (gasps) Roll a four. She has an intelligence modifier of four and is not one of her saving throws. (gasps) Shut up! Her oh, intelligence wait. charisma become one. Cannot cast spells. Cannot activate magical items. She's just dumb. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Did that really happen? Did that work? Yeah. Did that yeah. work? Yeah. It's permanent, right? No. Uh, it's it's 30 she days. can keep it's, saving from it. Yeah, at the end of every 30 days, she can repeat the same. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Marissa, okay? what a beautiful moment. What? Get it, get it. <laughs> we still got so, some problems. As, 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 you, problems. as you reach out, you watch as the, the tendrils oh. of nature's energy begin to spill out of the cracks of the vicinity. And, and I as, just say, Melora, <laughs> come on, girl. <laughs> come on, Melora. You watch as as, uh, as Raishan kind of chuckles. <laughs> One of the tendrils flashes out and wraps around the throat. <laughs> and as they wrap and begin to strengthen around the neck, pouring into the cracks of the flesh where the disease currently holds her throat, her brow begins to sink, the jaw hangs open, and slobber begins to drip from the lower jaw. As Raishan, just, as supposed to speaking, now gets to a guttural. <laughs> Poetic justice, oh. motherfucker. Still got a dragon. Still got a dragon. Yeah, but uh, she's stupid. Uh, I love this dragon. She can still attack. She's like, yeah. Grog, Grog, get her down! It was all I can scream before I'm just, my mind is blown. Uh, that ends Grog's turn. Carrick, you're up. Oh. Please just let me. All I want to do is stick at least one on this goddamn dragon. Yeah. <laughs> Six rolls. Come on, Care Bear. Yes. Okay. So there is 26. 26 yeah! hits. And a 20. And the 20, and 20 misses, 20, unfortunately. Unless this dragon is so surprised that I finally made a successful attack. <laughs> <laughs> no, unfortunately, the, the, the feral angry. An, int- an intelligible state of Raishan right now is just a, f- a beast. Uh, no, not okay. surprised. Um, Instinct now. Oh, so I'm gonna burn my a second level spell for Smite, and she is not like anything that is specifically affected by like Doomhammer here. Like she's not undead technically, or no, okay, just regular old evil. Yeah. Okay. Regular old she's, evil. She's just awful. It's a classic just, evil. Just bad. There's ten. 18, one more, 28. 28 points of damage? 28. Whack. She dies suddenly, a cardiac mm-hmm. arrest. Yeah. <laughs> At a max hit points of 520, how do you want to do this? <laughs> Literally had seven hit points left. Oh, oh, going oh, as far as my math goes, yeah. <laughs> I can't fucking believe, I can't fucking believe that happened. <laughs> So, how do you how do you want to do this? Oh my god! Oh my god yes. Fe- the feral beast there, tearing the innards out of Percy on the ground, Grog slamming into it, just seemingly just bashing against the world, watching everyone drop around you like fl- flies. You, you're one hammer in hand. What I would like to do is step over to like be over his body, you know. And it's like it's like no, 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 no further. And uh, as the dragon is coming in, like just trying to mindlessly claw at this this poor destroyed corpse, you know. Um, and I, I I like to think of the the anime slow mo strike, where like the, the hammer comes back and it slows down, and then when it connects, you get like the big starburst. <laughs> um, wow. Okay. As as the hammer arcs downward, <laughs> sl- slams into the snout of Raishan just as the head turns up. The eyes that were once reptilian and intelligent are now just filled with bloodshot rage and feral intensity. The jaw is attempting to snap up and catch the blade. However, you're too fast. Your old adventuring reflex kicking in. As the glowing hammer head comes down onto the snout, the divine energy blasts forward and you watch as the dragon's face <laughs> explodes, inverting inward, the front of the skull being blown backward. And you guys watch as this flash of light fills the entirety of this necrotic space. This one plume of radiant smoke kind of And left behind, you see Carrick standing there holding the rod 
the the actual head of the hammer now dismissed as part of the burst of radiant energy, and there the smoking ruin of the throat, headless, of Raishan, the deceased deceiver, collapsing <laughs> to the ground unmoving. And welcome back. So, last we left off, uh, the battle with Raishan ended with a victory for Vox Machina, but at a rather high cost at the moment. As you stand now in the still silence, the aftermath of the fray, uh, looking down, seeing your allies beaten, bruised, disheveled, Scanlan lifeless on the ground on one side of this cavern, and a partially gutted Percy lifeless on the other, um, the smoldering ruin that was once the head of Raishan, uh, lifeless and still on the ground as Carrot clutches uh, the hammer, Kimo walks over and grabs your shoulder and kind of tightly squeezes it, going, you did what had to be done. Thank you. Is the, I mean, I've been around, like, I can't, I can't help him, can I? I think he's beyond either of our power now. Allie? Unless Please I tell am. me she's alive, and Kima runs off on the back, realizing that she doesn't really kind of know the status of the best. The rest uh, of the group. Allura shouts out to her on the side. What's happening? I'm all right. I get down there, and I'm doing, I'm doing useless combat triage. I'm trying to gather you the, what you, you like do what what's you can. outside and putting yeah. it back in. Yeah. And I've yeah. Vax. Yeah. Are you up? Yeah. Yeah. Percival, how are you? Sound off if you're alive. Alive. I start stumbling over towards Scanlan. Percy. Percy? I go running around the corner. Same. As you guys both kind of run uh, Keyleth a bit behind, Vax, you turn and you see Raishan's corpse just piled, and then on the ground you see uh, Carrick slowly, methodically, almost staring off into a memory, trying to gather uh, a bit of Percival's scattered innards, uh, no. a wound of his side torn open. No! And I run over to him. Help him! Pike! Pike comes running around the corner. Uh, oh God, um, and she runs up real fast and uh, begins gathering her of high spell. Where, where? Where's Scanlan? I pick him up and I start walking towards Grog with him. Um, did either of you guys want to roll for Pike's Revivify? On. On Percy. On Percy. Do you want? Do you want Matt to do this? So I, that there's no. I'll do it. I, I don't want you to have. I don't want you to get out of your head. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. It's just dice. It's the universe. Low. Oh no, Where this is it? a nine. Six. Fuck. Plus what? It's not gonna work. Six plus five? Yeah. Eleven. Percival has died. How many times? I don't know. Once. I think just once for once. him, right? The big one. It works. It works. It's just enough. It's just enough. Wait, how many times has he died? I'm just double checking. Just Tell us how many times you died. Does the necklace count? Does the necklace not count? The necklace does not count. Once, as far as I can remember. Because the necklace just instantly bamped him back. Mm. Yeah, similar to the yeah, it's a effect shield. earlier. Oh, come on, come on. So, if, if that's going on, I've got like 30 points of lay on hands just that I have not had a chance to use, and I'm, I'm probably not in great shape. Like, I, so I'm probably gonna be trying to use it even though I know better. So as you're trying to grab the body and trying to make it form, it's not its not doing anything. The, the healing magic is not taking effect into the, the now still cold body. As Pike's metallic hand comes into your visual frame, Carrick, you watch, and that slow, breathless motion as her gauntleted arm reaches out and touches the clavicle of the bloody mess of Percy's torso. And as the divine energy pulses warmth once more through the chest, you watch as the bits of exposed uh, organ that you had pushed in close over with skin. Uh, 
<laughs> and breath comes back to Percival's body. You come to consciousness barely. Oh, that's nice. Welcome back. <laughs> Don't look down, you're a bloody mess. <laughs> oh, is this mine? <laughs> no. Okay. I'm gonna pass out. Are we all here then? Grog! Scanlan was down. Scanlan's down. <clears throat> I'll take off running for Vex. Okay, as you turn around the corner, um, uh, Keeman and Allura are rushing up to you now as well. Uh, is he? And you turn the corner, Grog, and you see uh, Vax holding the still body of Scanlan just dangling out of his arms. No. No. No! Fix him! Fix him! Will somebody do something? We have to take him home. We have to get him out of here. <coughs> yeah. Alonis, I, I, I do have a teleport spell I can utilize. G gather everyone around. There's a brief flux of arcane energy, and then it fades, and you all remain in place. No. She goes, um. What's wrong? I I don't know. Something is something is bothering my. It's this place. The dragon said that there were features to this place. Uh oh, fuck! Uh, we Tarek don't have... has like no affect in his voice. Oh my God. Uh, we have to get out and of here. Up and out. Uh, she gets down and begins marking out the symbol on the ground uh, on the outskirts. She finishes. You watch the arcane flash. She steps onto the circle and vanishes. Uh, the, the teleportation circle. Um, and Kima's about to go behind her, and Kima goes, I don't. It doesn't usually look like that. What? Alora didn't vanish, did she? Al Alora stepped onto it after casting it and then vanished. There was like a, a what weird do sparkle mean, what of do you mean energy. It doesn't look like that normally. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Do do we follow her or do something else? Uh, I don't understand. Gone. And no, Kima, Kima, Kima just walks Kima. in after her and <laughs> sparks once more. Does what anybody? Do do? Does anybody know what the fuck? What did that mean? What is that supposed to look like? What Can we do like? some sort of like check? You get the sense that there's something about this. Either this 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 mountain, it's this this cool. underground area. There's something that has a, some sort of influence or impact on any sort of transportation magic. Can I scry while we're walking? Uh, the ritual requires you the ball. What about the ball? Can can Grog? Can I get a piggyback from Grog and scry while he's while we're walking? On the carpet. Yeah, uh, on the carpet. We Come could on. Probably try that. You focus on Alura's life force, form, face, and as you close your eyes, tra you know, slowly moving along with the, uh, the gradual movement of the uh, flying carpet, your vision pulls out of you and above on the island. It then shifts suddenly and pulls you over blue, over water. Then there's another flash and there's nothing but water around you. You don't know where you are, you don't know where it is, and it flashes once more, and there in the center of this open expanse of water and ocean, you see two figures swimming. And you glance down, and there in the middle of the ocean waters, you see Allura treading water, shouting Kima's name. Kima! <sighs> and looking across the way, you can just barely hear in the distance, Ali, I'm coming! <sighs> she swims over in that direction. They eventually, eventually grab each other's hands and kind of together hold each other and look around, keeping treading water as the sun is slowly being set in the distance. Nightfall comes. And you just see Allura kind of holding her there, trying to both keep her aloft. 
It's all right. We're alive. I, I don't know where we are, but we'll figure this out. We'll figure this out. And they both begin swimming, looking at the direction of the sun and picking what looks to be a northern position. A short time later, you eventually get close to the edge of the water line, and you do find uh, a handful of trees that appear to be live enough and large enough to main, to maintain one of your spells. I do a, a useless scan of the ocean out of desperation to Perception see if I check. see anything. I'll join. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Natural 20! <gasps> It's true. It was a gill dice. It was Gil's dice. You can see. Wow. You can see. And add, 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 add your perception bonus. A Twenty. Uh, Thirty-one. Thirty-one. Perception's eleven. Um. You take a moment, and you don't know if it's the sense of the scry spell and something about the arcane winds that blow through the ley lines of magic that traverse across Exandria, but something guides your attention that way, and you focus real hard, and you see just at the horizon what looks to be a very, very faint speck of movement. Fuck. Oh. What are you looking there they are! Oh, shit! I, I don't know if that's them! I think that's them! Ka we Carrick, wait, Carrick puts his hand on her shoulder and says, oh, child. I take off on the road like, now. Like, wishing doesn't the direction that so. she. No, I know, I know, but look, look, there's, there's something. It could be something else, but there's something. Go, 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 go. Yeah, I'm going, I'm going. I went. You arcing fast as you can on the broom, full speed, holding onto the hat as fast as you can. <laughs> <laughs> the wind of the ocean, air coming past your face, the salt and the, the briny spray of you know, bits of reef and rock that surround the island. Um, I'm trying to give Vex over the earpiece like a warmer, 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 colder, a little tw 10 degrees to your left. <laughs> Yeah, um, you you do look out and you see both Kima and Alora swimming through the ocean, um, exhausted, and it looks like, uh, based on both the heavy armor that Kima is wearing and the general physical state, they're both having a hard time treading water, and they're swimming in a wrong direction. I fly over uh -oh. them and just tell them, "Hang on to the broom." Oh. Oh, that's that's the that's the best thing I could have helped for seeing. And uh, uh, Allura reaches up and grabs your arm, and Kima, hold on, and just grabs the edge, and you can see Kima now is like <laughs> is like coughing up water right now, and is trying desperately uh, to tread water. Um, it's a natural twenty on a strength check for Allura. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit! Nice. With no modifier. Um, manages to hold onto both you and Kima and get you up. I need you to make an athletics check. Just to hold on. Um, 13? 13, okay. It's enough to maintain. Uh, carrying them both back as fast as the broom, which is not very fast at this time, it takes you probably a good. Fifteen or so minutes, and as the tensions going on, you could see Allura getting more and more exhausted. Uh, keep Kima, holding. Keep We're almost there, darling. I'm trying. I just, I, I, would I just keep saying, Vex. Did you find them? I'm taking the carpet that direction. Vex. If it's been this long, Carrick has given five five like minutes of the talk. Like I'm just crying in Carrick's shoulder right now, just bawling my eyes out. If, I'll be back in a moment. I'm taking the carpet towards the speck I see on the. And probably ten minutes in is where I yeah. would have given it a ten minute. I'm on the way with it. Yeah, at, 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 at this point, you can see you can long. see uh, Alora's grip is getting shaky on the broom now. And says, "We're almost close enough." Now and then, her and Kima <laughs> vanish in a puff of dark bluish uh, energy and <laughs> appear on the carpet next to you through a dimension door. Oh. 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 Oh, I'm so tired. Still sobbing into <laughs> Carrick's shoulder. It's it's been like a slow <laughs> litany of like sometimes people go and you never get them back. It is it's like he's giving you the wrong pep talk. Oh god. <laughs> you know. So wait, are worthy? Maybe they were just dead, and I saw their ghosts. We have them. You are. We have them. What? 
and I just cry harder. Vax is also listening to that. Sometimes you don't get them back while holding a scanline ten feet away. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like Next little crisis. Dobby in Harry Potter. <laughs> Eventually, you guys manage to gather the rest of your party <sighs> at the beachside, waterlogged. Uh, Kima kind of shakes it out and. Uh, leaving his trails, her hair is all like matted and clattered her, you know, into her face, and she just looks really pissed. <laughs> He's like, not a word. Um, Allura is kind of squeezing out the sides of her braids. And, well, now what? White stone. <sighs> let's let's take a tree, shall we? Let's try. I think this definitely explains why so many folks who went to investigate this place never came back. Are we as far away as we can be? Like, we came in on a tree, right? We're on the beach. Yeah. We came in on a tree, yes. Okay. Doesn't mean a lot, but yeah. We're as far as we can get. So you go ahead and find the tree? All right. Hmm. As you reach out and touch the side of the tree, eyes kind of clench tight, hoping that this, this is enough. Um, you watch as the Bark splits into the uh, transportation via plants portal, and as it splits apart, you can see further uh, internal wood striations. Those split. A third layer splits like this. It's having to force its way through this tree, and then finally it divides out, and you can see the uh, the sunset uh, lit outside of the center of Whitestone. Go. I kind of, I kind of hold the door open like it's a closing elevator. Am I sure it's fucking Whitestone? It appears to be Whitestone. We got six it. seconds. Go, it. go. I'm running for it. You guys all charge through, making it through the portal. And I go in last. And you all step out, catching yourself just as the tree slams behind you. There you see the faintly blossoming branches of the sun tree greeting you to the center of sunsetting Whitestone. Together as a group, clutching Scanlan's uh, lifeless body in your arms, still Vax. Okay. I guess we'll go ahead and get started. All right. So as Pike takes her holy symbol out and begins preparing and burning the incense, um, you, uh, conscious of the fact you're, while you are a follower of Saren Ray, you are in the space of the Raven Queen. You take heed to make sure that the symbols you prepare as part of the ritual are a union of the symbols of redemption of which call to your divine nature and the cycle of life that are indicative of the Raven Queen's uh, spheres of both fate and passing. Um, and you orchestrate them in a way that is synergistic so that there is a de- definitive intent to not let this lifeline sever. As you finish the completion of these various uh, symbols and glyphs, spreading the salts across with each line that's drawn. Uh, you then begin to gather everybody around the altar itself, closing the doors behind you. I, um, I step up and I take my Titan Stone knuckles off. I take <coughs> the belt of Dwarven Kind off. I wrap it around the knuckles and I lay it next to Scanlan. And I say, you've been with me through so much. I pride myself on my strength, but as we fought Earthbreaker Groom, you were there by my side, as I learned that my true strength comes from my friends, which means that these trinkets, no matter how strong they are, mean nothing. You knew me before then, and I would hope you would know me after. And while my best buddy Pike taught me to love, you taught me to laugh. And I don't want to know what life is like without that. And the last thing I'd say is, Saint, you spent so many times inspiring me. I'd like to take a page from your book and to the tune of the Washington Redskins fight song, (laughs) sing, Hail to Scanlan Short Holt, hail to victory. No one can make me laugh faster. Please bring him back to me. Well, I reach in my 
pocket and I, I pull out um, a little doll and Scanlan, I, I, I don't I don't know if you remember this, but you gave this to me and it's a little doll of you, which is very appropriate. Um, but when I died, this saved my life because you gave it to me and I, I didn't know that you would put healing words in it. And it saved me and I hope that today I can return the favor. So I'll place that next to him. I prepared a poem. I don't have it memorized, so hold up. Okay. <laughs> Here lies Scanlan the Bard, a gnome who sang soft but died hard. To anyone who hears us, both far and wide, bring us back our dirty friend at least one more time. He may not be tall or brute or rough. He may be little, but his heart is buff. We are a party, and every party needs a clown. Without our friend to rein us in, we'll burn down your whole fucking town. <laughs> <laughs> you see, I love this gnome very much. He's small like me, but he's touched. <laughs> he's raided and slain. He's pooped while he sang. <laughs> but if he's gone forever, I won't be the same. Now that he's learned he's a dad, the journey that all of us had cannot be in vain, will not be in waste. Please, Scanlan, open your eyes and see your daughter's face. Oh, I just rolled a natural 20. No. Oh, man. Okay, okay. There is a flash of movement at the edge of the altar. And with a double clack of her shoes, you watch Kaylee land her flip onto the top of the altar, stand up straight, wobble for a second and catch her. She pulls out her fiddle and begins to play a beautiful, soft, sad violin piece that begins to swell faster and faster and faster and transition from a mournful, uh, piece of remembrance into a lively, jovial fiddle piece. The music begins to pick up and she begins to dance, her feet clacking across the top of the altar. And the juxtaposition of the energy and the emotion of the room towards this strange rush of energy and liveliness is awkward at first and then a welcome. And you can't help but in spite of yourself smile as the sound fills the room. Uh, as she goes faster and faster and faster, her feet clacking faster and faster across the stonework on the top. She brings it to a giant crescendo and finishes, finishes with a flourish, the bow whoosh, outside. She puts her head up, and you see the tear shoot down her face, no smile, just a stoned expression, and she gives a bow. As the divine energies of the ritual swell, you watch as the energy kind of shoots across stepping into the diamond that's still on his chest. You watch as the divine powers, <laughs> the diamond swells with bright energy before <laughs> shattering into a diamond dust across his chest, across the altar, clattering to the ground, like a glittering handful of sand just tossed across his body. The glyphs fade and go cold. The light of the room descends into the same low-lit candle light that you've presented to the ritual pike. A moment passes. Another moment passes. Another moment passes. And eyes still closed, he watches a small smile curls across Galen's face, and his chest rises and falls, and rises, and falls. As the relief spreads throughout the room. I rolled a natural fucking 20, by the way, guys. <laughs> <laughs> on that final roll. Did you really? No it's right there, I haven't, I haven't touched it since, uh, since it landed. Uh, it was two natural 20s. Two, two natural 20s. Yeah, it was 14 for Kaylee's performance. You know what? 20. Holy oh. The fights just wanted Scanlan to come back. It's yeah. true. 
And he was all poo pooing on the the dice. I know. There was, I mean, oh with with the DC increase because he was at a twelve. I missed at thirteen last oh week. He was at twelve, oh. and we had two successes and one failure. Um, oh that brought it to a thirteen ten to a seven. So we had a one through a six. And he would have been there. Oh God. That responsibility is so scary. Yeah. Anyway, as you all take in the moment, it appears that Scanlon's spirit has returned to the body. It's not fair, is it? What? Well, just one day you lose so many people, and then just one day you stop. And at what point in your life it just you decide that suddenly, for no reason, is just you're just not allowed to die yet. You just your life isn't your own anymore. Suddenly you've you've done what you were supposed to do, and now you're back, and it's just not yours anymore, is it? And what of everybody else? It's not fair, any of it. I don't know. You, you don't think your life is your own? I know my life isn't my own. My life is all of yours. My life is my sister's. My life is this castle's. My life ended. Do you feel... I'm very glad to be here. <laughs> I just miss an awful lot of people, that's all. And I don't understand how we get to choose. Oh. <laughs> I understand. I know. I just got it too. Yeah. I know you don't, Drog. I'm <laughs> so grateful that you don't. <laughs> <sighs> To the unyielding unfairness of the universe. Yep, raising drinks. I'm not even here, and I'm right behind us. Fucking A. I don't drink. <laughs> <laughs> and that it. decided that we get to keep this bastard. <clears throat> Hardly fair. What do we tell him when he wakes up? That's why I was thinking about going through all of his things. We could just leave him in the gutter somewhere. <laughs> 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 Reincarnated a hundred years in the future. I don't know. I keep thinking of terrible things to do to him now. It's pretty funny. I know. I've not explored any of that, and it is amazing. I, well, we were all troubled. I feel like once once Vax is awake, we'll really have an expert at this sort of thing available. Now, now's your chance to throw something in the acid. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could hear that. Oh, oh, I wish I could hear that. Regal's not even here. God. <laughs> Oh my you God. can run roughshod <gasps> over that motherfucker. You're, you're not in the room. I you're know. not in the room, asshole. Oh. Talking to towels. I know. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know if Percy is that is that is that uh, has that much of a lack of propriety. He's I'm really debating though. <laughs> I've got an idea. Okay, what's your idea? And I need one of your nightgowns and some of the pudding from downstairs kitchen. Oh. <laughs> okay. Wow. Okay. Can I go grab one of my? I'm gonna go grab one of my nightgowns. I'm gonna send. I'm gonna okay. send for for some for some desserts from downstairs. Okay. I had nights like this in college, you guys. This is not cool. <laughs> oh, I'm well aware. It's not cool when you wake up. On All right. Place. Nightgown retrieved. Pudding, a little stale but retrieved. That's fine. Stale Good is job. better. Yeah. Is my nightgown a little big on him? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, yeah. You're a little thicker than Scanlan. Got you on hey! She's a monster. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Uh, That's right. I got all the games. <laughs> he's, he's like a known skier Shannon. Oh, uh. Essentially, yes. Coach <laughs> Python, Joe. You're the monster. All right, so you have the nightgown, you have the pudding. What's the plan? What are you thinking? Well, first we're going to have to strip him. Okay. We're going to put him in your nightgown. Okay. We're going to... Just sort of leave him hanging off the bed and decorate the entire room with all the desserts we brought up and just smear them in interesting patterns. <gasps> Maybe some Latin everywhere. Just wonder what happened. Let's just leave him a tableau. We'll have an art party. I think it's a fabulous idea. With food. <laughs> <sighs> all right, so I'll start undressing him. All right, so, uh, Care, you watch as Percival <laughs> and Pike in undressing Scanlan's 
uh, comatose body <laughs> in, in, a a coma. in a nightgown. Terrible. And then stage by stage, taking handfuls of, of room temperature, uh, <laughs> probably day old pudding <laughs> and desserts, and smearing oh. them across oh. the room. And oh. Scanlan himself. Oh, no, We're gonna braid that. his hair as well. It could be like a Weird week Irish. before he wakes up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's all like moldy <laughs> and nasty. Irish spirit, of course. <laughs> Weird <laughs> Irish <laughs> I'm going to smear oh, in, in, in some of it on his forehead so he can read it in the mirror backwards. Oh. It's just going to say, no, never. <laughs> <laughs> with, with a quill? That's a lot of letters. Gently. Gently with your forehead. You can fit it's that. A, it's, it's a small forehead. Yeah, yeah. Shop Oh, that's true. It is a small hair. It's do two lines. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? You've got the nightgown and you've got the pudding. Now what are you going to do in cross-stitch on my wall? <laughs> All righty. So... You complete your art project. Uh, take it however you feel, witnessing the event, Carrick. Uh, Actually, care at some point is probably like, if you got um, some ribbons, <laughs> you'll get his hands. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm shocked. On the bedpost. I'm shocked. You, sir, are a man of the world. What a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> a man of the world. I'm going to retrieve two of my scarves from my from my room. <laughs> 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 yes. With two of, yes. of two of the of the uh, of the uh, yeah. <laughs> it's perfect. Of the next scarves. Great. Okay. <laughs> not not too tight. Not too tight. Not too tight. Gentle. No, no that's <laughs> not that sort of knot. <laughs> you have to wrap it around and then through. <laughs> Actually, yeah. Here. You're, you unintentionally learn more about Carrick's history than you expected. I, I really, to. I feel like I'm getting so many more chapters. Yes. Um, <laughs> all right. And with the presentation complete, your uh, uh, <laughs> diorama, uh, Con Scanlan, uh, the evening draws late. It is now probably a good two thirty, three o'clock in the morning upon completion. It is time for sleep. And so we kind of, I just kind of share some space. We chat a bit. And then I kind of bring up that whole resurrection ritual. I, you know, slowly like, so that sort of thing has happened before with you folks. Yeah, it has, unfortunately. A bit too often. But I have to say, before this group, I, I didn't even know, like, people could do that. Because you know me, like, I can't do anything like that. Have you... Have you ever done one of those? I, no, no. I, um, I looked into things like that, uh, but I've never known anyone who's actually come back. R really? Do you, yeah. Wait, so are you saying that Someone coming back is rare. I've, I, I mean, I've heard stories and I know, but I, I've never, I've never seen it myself and I've never, I've, I, I don't know how much, I, I never knew how practical any of the stories were before. Yeah, I, I don't really know how pra practiced uh, they are either, but um, I, I guess I hadn't really thought about it much. It just seems like the others in the group are so responsible for it. This one was hard, though. I, I felt like it might not work, you know? So it always works? Well, yeah. I mean, of the ones I've seen. And has it always been... How... Do you need... Do you need a body? For what? Like, to stay warm at night or for a resurrection? 
<laughs> no, for have you ever brought someone back when you didn't have the body? Mm, no. I expect that that couldn't happen. Oh, okay. Because that would be weird. I mean, what would you use? <laughs> like, you can't bring along like a tea cozy and then be like, bam, you're back. Like, how would that even work? What are you talking about? Exactly. How, how would any of that work? And like, <laughs> that is about as subtle as Carrot can be, like right. at this point, like awake for three days and like <laughs> two wars and a dragon. That's why he's, he's uh, desperately trying to pump Grog for information about you how the, the hell wrong source. someone can come back. <laughs> yeah. You know, if and, you have questions, the wall behind me also knows probably as much as I do. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that's like, this is especially the person, like the only person I could trust to realize that, to not realize that I was trying to get information out of him on this subject. Good yeah. Point. Um, Good point. yeah. And, and then when it does not, you know, it kind of dead ends, we ju I just drink as much of that as, as bottle as I can, moving it back and forth between the two of us um, uh, for, the, for the rest of the night. I'm good with that. Hey! Oh, oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> what are you drinking? <laughs> and why didn't you bring some to me? Shit, really good point. We might be in trouble, Cap. I have made a terrible mistake, yep. and, but but it is one that I can fix. Yep, all his fault. Uh, really. I know this is why the gods gave us two hands. I will bring back two bottles. Um, Wait, prove the you. Are you? No, it's you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to go find him. I give Percy a kiss on the head. So I walk back. Mm. It's good to see you again. It's good to see you too. <laughs> I'm glad Welcome you're alive. <laughs> Very glad to be alive. She's Where's my brother? <laughs> She's in a really good mood. Yes, she is. Yeah. Maybe you should hit up Esco for some tricks. I know. <laughs> I think that might be fun. <laughs> I didn't know you guys had that kind of a, the you know, relationship. Is the things that, that you, you know, do not know that, could uh, fill such <laughs> such a cavern. <laughs> you said girth. I did. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Oh. That influence of Vox Machina. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and Tundra is a Vex taught me that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> We keep in track. <laughs> tell, tell me how you really feel, Grog. Uh, yeah. I'll resent you. Uh, no. Jeez, you know what? <laughs> Never mind. I take all of them back. Well, I thought you. I'm all right. <laughs> and, and gently, not today, not for a while. I need to go back to uh, the temple of the, the Raven Queen. Yeah, not today. Do you Eventually. want to today? No, I don't want to today. You know, you never came back last night. Thought you were going to come back. I'll come back. Carry on! <laughs> <laughs> so as you guys are walking... Vex, you are still back at Kaimul <laughs> with Esco Ryandarian, who has come back with drinks and is like... Um, oh, uh, so... <laughs> But what business have you here to drag me this far out of town? I thought uh, you were grabbing room, Eskel. Aren't you tired? So tired? <laughs> right. I suppose. We probably need our sleep, right? So that we can recharge those spells of yours as soon as possible. I just want you to know I'm not interested. Oh, are you sure, darling? You're so attractive. To I me. understand that, mm -hmm. and I, I've had my heyday, but uh, those years are long past me now. Well, you better get to bed before I jump on you. <laughs> he seems legitimately really disturbed and walks away. <laughs> <laughs> I sit down next to Dr. Dranzel. I've had friends come and go through the years. It's part of the job. 
can't be true. That cold? Well, no, each one hurts, but look, though, I've lived in some of the harshest landscapes Talore and beyond has to see. I've watched people torn asunder in the streets before me. I have... I hold on to my purse the entire time I'm talking. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was so subtle. <laughs> the Scanlan. The Scanlan Shorthall. And our brief but very lucrative career together. By the way, if you're curious, we're looking to sell off some of this really nice silverware that we've been. You on. motherfucker. <laughs> That's right, it's hard. <laughs> <Shit>. <laughs> I'm just gonna smile at you, his big, bright, toothy grin. <sighs> Stay safe, Exhale. Yeah, don't come to my room. I'm serious, don't. <laughs> it looks I'm legitimate. Anything. Like the wink afterward? I know. <laughs> his face has like a. <laughs> like signals expression. <laughs> Question mark. Uh, Question mark. Not, sure. <laughs> Not sure. Not sure if serious. Oh, but seriously, don't. I uh, stay up for a really long time waiting to hear any kind of word from Allura, from anybody, something. Oh, no, nobody told Allura to nope, contact No, they didn't. You. No. So I'll eventually oh, uh, go to sleep wondering oh, if Scanlan's alive. Side. What, you think one of these class bastards start wandering this town? Oof, thank goodness. Mm. Mm. Now, if you guys end up actually going back to ha Vasselheim, and, uh... Uh, Mr. Vord starts coming out and asking questions. Tell him you haven't seen me. <laughs> you got it. Lie. <laughs> no, no. Just tell me you haven't seen me. Well, I have seen you. Tell him you haven't. <laughs> Don't whoa, do that. Just... <laughs> Walk, walks past Pike and goes up and just kind of pats him in the chest and goes, it's okay, big man. <laughs> Forget I said anything. And then turns back to us and was like, I'm oh, sorry. I <laughs> we'll, we'll say the word. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right. All right. Oh, my gosh. I, I was just curious because, you see, I, I have this staff that has Malora's marking on it. She takes a moment and kind of reaches forward. Wow, that's... We should have led with that. You know, that's quite a reaction. I wasn't expecting that. This, where did you, how, where did you come across such an artifact? I found it through a series of very hard and troubling events and circumstances. <laughs> I can only understand that. What, what you hold in your hand is one of the great relics of Melora. Okay. If you uh, would do the honor of the birth heart of having uh, that uh, return to the, the priestesses of Melora, that would be of a, a great aid to our people. <laughs> mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> he just did that. Fuck you, Jeff. Wow. <laughs> That's why you keep things hidden. Yes. Ask him. Has the box already checked for traps? Uh, uh, you don't know. Can I check it for traps? Pike is just holding and inspecting the box as you walk. I got an eight. What are you eight? doing, Pike? It's hard to tell. Looks pretty safe. He said he'd been intending to make a trip to Vasselheim to bury it himself, but he hasn't had the time or the ability yeah. to do so. Which seems odd, right? I mean, it is his wife's ashes. Oh man, you guys, I thought this was something sweet and we weren't going to question it. Yeah. You're right, yeah. Complicated. Are we saying you're right? No we're thinking too much. Who's truthful? I don't so know well. anymore. Well, we're all, we are all too people. scarred and damaged. <coughs> some people are truthful, but I mean, Seneca did want to make us his slaves. Let's just put that. We were all on board for this until 20 seconds ago <laughs> when we started questioning it. I'm sorry. I just. 
I could be saving our lives right now. Or yeah. I could be killing yeah. all of us. Well, the bottom Mike line is, several times. <laughs> he's probably never gonna know. What if I just take a peek? Vax. Oh wait, that's a good idea. Whoa. Or like open it to a mirror. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, can I look for locks or traps? Well, and traps. I'm just, uh, I'm not opening it. Look for traps? Yeah, ooh. Uh, that is a, uh, ooh. that is a 22. 22. Uh, it is not trapped. Pickle, I will help you if you want, but my gut is telling me that this is just his wife's ashes. Shake it and listen. <sighs> I second that. <laughs> Make a perception check. I put my hands up. <laughs> this is the Walk worst a little thing bit ever. away. 30 so. again. <laughs> you hear what sounds like the very gentle sifting of some very, very light particles oh. inside of a box. You do not get a fiendish or undead yeah, man, aura this is from the just box. Hey, oh, guys, why you flit? <sighs> you want to bury it and then it turns into like something crazy. What have you been yeah. reading? When oh, he no. told us it was his <laughs> wife, we all went, oh. When when that happened, you know we're questioning. But that's it. what a shyster does. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so hardened by the war. They tell you no, things to make you feel bad. To, to buy their magazines. I mean, we have been. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Max is getting <laughs> weirdly personal. Who has tried to sell you magazine subscriptions? Who? Just Sub what? everyone. What should your high schooler hurt you? Everyone. <laughs> Everyone in White Stone, you guys haven't been there long pickle, enough. Pickle, pickle. I just want to let you know, I feel you. Okay. But I'm trying to make this our first step into being a more positive Vox Machina. Okay. What's wrong with your face? This is me forcing a smile. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think it is. There's right. pain under here. That's why it looks like that. We got, we got her name, right? Yes. We'll I make her a little tombstone. We'll do a whole thing then. Yeah. <laughs> we'll do a whole thing. We'll bury we'll her. We'll thing, you know. We're gonna make it nice. <laughs> 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 you know what? It'll be beautiful. Be beautiful. Everybody. You're gonna get your bones. Yeah, you're gonna get your bones. All over it. <laughs> bada bing, bada boom. Man, the conclave arc is taking its toll on Vox Machina. <laughs> <laughs> Take it on. So we're all huddled around the box, just like freaking out right now. Vex just draws, <laughs> draws on that box. Yeah, one little fucking box. <laughs> <laughs> Reveal your secrets. I just <laughs> Guys, when we set out to do this, we promised we were going to make this easy and simple, and we can't even do that. We are torturing ourselves. You're, we you're are making little, that far more complicated. Oh, let's stop, let's stop, let's okay. just... Okay, Percy, this, these ashes. Percy? I'm keeping my mouth so shut. Put the box in the ground. Okay, or we can just put the box in the ground. Jesus. So you get down and dig a hole? Sure. It's soft. The ground is pretty malleable, actually. Not like clay, but the dirt is intensely packed in this portion. As I'm doing it, I'm like, Melora, you were clutch in the fight against Raishan, and we appreciate it greatly. Thank you for everything you've done for us. Your trees are beautiful. <laughs> also, we don't know what we're planning here, so if it's something bad, it's not our fault. <laughs> Side note. <laughs> Can you place the box in? Ah! Uh, yes. Okay. You rest, you rest the box down. My here. precious. Chains. <laughs> Doesn't Ch feel right. Chains sure box and all into the hole, freshly dug by a vex.